If you look at a modern map of Europe, you'll see a curious exclave along the Baltic Sea. This is Kaliningrad and has been a part of the Russian Federation since 1991. The more observant of you will have noticed that it isn't attached to Russia, which raises the question, why does Russia own Kaliningrad and how did it come to possess it? Well, first of all, the region, centred on a city of the same name, hasn't been known as Kaliningrad for very long, but prior to this was known as Königsberg. From the 13th century, it was a part of the lands of the Teutonic Order. And by the 16th century, Königsberg was the central part of the newly formed Duchy of Prussia, a puppet state of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. It it wasn't long before Prussia broke free and Königsberg was the site which saw the first king of Prussia crowned. Within a few centuries it had grown to this and by the late 19th century it was the dominant force within the newly formed German Empire. As you'll be able to guess, Königsberg, whilst not the capital, held a special place within the German Empire as one of its cultural centres and the birthplace of its ruling dynasty. The point I'm trying to get at is, for about six centuries prior to this point, Königsberg and its surrounding area was primarily German. Although you should note that there were sizeable Polish and Lithuanian minorities there too. The status of this land didn't really change until the Second World War. Although you should be aware that the 1919 Treaty of Versailles after the First World War saw Germany lose this territory in its ruling Prussian dynasty. As you'll notice, it did keep Königsberg itself, but this time as its own exclave known as Eastern Prussia. You'll also notice that it did lose this land to the newly formed Lithuania, which throughout the period of the Weimar Republic was a hotbed of support for the growing National Socialist movement, which soon saw a certain Adolf Hitler running the show, who got this land back from Lithuania and also Q World War II, which Germany lost. In 1945, Soviet forces advanced on Königsberg and this led to many of the people living there fleeing west deeper into Germany. After a destructive siege, the city fell to the Soviets and after Germany's surrender, its borders were once again redrawn by the victorious powers. This time, Germany was to lose Königsberg and the area around it to Stalin's USSR and its new Eastern European puppet states. The region of East Prussia was thus divided into three parts. The southern part went to Poland and the northern part went to the USSR but as a part of the Lithuanian Soviet Republic. And as for the centre, which included the city of Königsberg itself, this went to the USSR's Russian Soviet Republic. So why wasn't it given to Lithuania despite being next door? Well at this point Lithuania had only recently been incorporated into the USSR, mostly against the will of those who lived there. And thus Stalin didn't trust them with an area of such military importance. Furthermore, the region was subject to widespread ethnic cleansing, which saw most of its remaining Germans deported to East Germany and replaced mostly with Russians. That said, when Stalin died, his successor Nikita Khrushchev did offer Kaliningrad to Lithuania, who said no. Why? Because the people there weren't Lithuanian and its leaders felt that incorporating so many Russians into its territory would cause long-term issues. Thus, Kaliningrad would remain a part of the Russian Soviet Republic throughout the lifespan of the USSR until its collapse in 1991. This marked a point in which the status of the area could have changed. Lithuania still wasn't interested in Kaliningrad for the same reasons as before and this view was shared by Poland. That left Germany which had a long-standing historical claim to the area. So why didn't they get it? First of all it was because the Russian Federation inherited the lands of the Russian Soviet Republic and also because Germany didn't want it. During the process of reunification the West German Chancellor Helmut Kohl didn't push to regain the exclave. His first priority was the reunification of East and West and he felt that trying to force the issue of Kaliningrad would upset the global powers he was trying to negotiate with. Britain and France were already wary of a reunified Germany and to give it extra land was, to them, a cause for yet more concern. And so, Germany never tried to reclaim Königsberg, which was barely even German anymore. And for Russia, Kaliningrad was just as Russian as any other bit of it and so why would they even contemplate letting it go? I hope you enjoyed this episode and thank you for watching with extra thanks to my Patreon supporters which you can see on screen. And with an extra special thanks to James Bizanet, David Archaeologist, Azarka Flash, Party Boyko, Rob Waterhouse, Chris Wicker, Michael Reynolds, Gustav Swan, David Silverman, Spinning Three Plates, Maggie Pakskowski, Christian Cheke, Anthony Beckett, Ike, Sky Chappelle and Winston Kaywood.